Hello, hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Darren and this is Darren's Corner. On today's episode of Darren's Corner, I'll be showing you how to make a delicious breakfast recipe and this is called Belgian Waffle Oat. So this recipe is so easy to make. As long as you have a waffle maker, then you're good to go. But before we go into today's recipe, if this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, which is that button you're seeing on your screen right now. And also on the bell sign, so you get notified when I have new videos up. Let's get into the list of ingredients. So of course the main ingredient for this recipe is rolled oats. You can use any brand of rolled oats that you prefer. Just add it into the blender cup and then once you finish adding your rolled oats, you're going to take one piece of banana and cut it into pieces and add into the blender cup also. If you have overripe banana, that's also good. Um, yeah, just add it into the blender cup. And then the next thing I'll be doing will be to add in my yogurt. Um, if you want to learn how to make your own homemade yogurt, please click on that link you're seeing on the right side of the screen um, to learn how to make your own yogurt from home. So I've added in my homemade yogurt into this recipe and then I'll be adding in my milk of choice. Um, for this one I actually used normal um, skimmed milk but if you want to use almond milk or coconut milk that's also fine. So it depends on your taste buds, it depends on your flavor that you're going for. Just add any milk of choice in for this recipe. And then next I'm going to be adding in um, my baking powder, my maple syrup and my um, vanilla extract. And that's all you're going to be adding into this and then you're going to go ahead and blend it. So next I'm just going to take my cooking spray and I'm just going to spray my waffle maker and spray the base and I'm also going to be spraying um, the top which is the lid. Next I'm just going to pour in my mixture, my oatmeal mixture into the um, waffle maker and I'm just going to use my hands to spread it out. Otherwise, they're just going to have some portions not properly formed. So I'm just going to cover the lid now and allow this to cook. And um, just make sure you have a look at it. You don't want it to burn. And it's just going to go ahead and cook. Yeah, not, not quite there. So I'm just going to close it back. And yep, so this is what it should look like. And I'm just gonna lift it this up and put it on my plate. I'm just gonna repeat the whole process um, till you finish all your oatmeal butter. And that's it. Um, I've just plated it. I've plated this particular one with some grapes, strawberries, um, sliced plum, and some mandarins. And I've just used my maple syrup as a syrup of choice for this one. And I'm just digging into this. So I just want to show you guys how lovely this is. This is so tasty and it's very healthy at the same time because you're not using flour. You're using oat, which is very high in um, fiber content and is also very filling. So something to jazz up your regular oat with instead of drinking the normal oat cereal. This is another, you know, alternative to your oat cereal. So you can see how it looks like. It's so delicious and it's very, very um, nutritious also. And 
and if you want a different um, kind of flavor and a different topping you can use your peanut butter and I've used peanut butter and avocados for this one and I cut a little bit of kiwi by the side so this is another option on how to jazz up this um, oatmeal so this is a, a different you know flavor a different um, taste which is also very nice so if you want to go for that high kick high um, sugar one you go with the other option of using fruits but if you want like a more savory um, flavor you can go with the peanut butter or avocados and if you want it a little bit spicy just add the spice of choice um, so you can really make anything out of this just think of you know when you want to make pancakes or you want to eat normal um, bread whatever you do with your bread you can do with this so this is so nice guys make sure you try this recipe out and when you do please don't forget to leave me comments in the comment section and also even you know tag me on instagram take a picture tag me i'm gonna look at it and i'm gonna comment 